Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how basically you can convert a array of JSON objects and uh, into CSV file, comma separated value inside Angular 14 application. So on your screen right here guys, you can see a list of uh, objects are there, four objects are there, each containing three properties, the name, age and country. And we have a button out there which is called as download CSV. As I hit this button guys, you will see a CSV file will be downloaded as an attachment. If I now open this file here, you will see inside Excel, you will see three columns are there, name, age, country and four rows are there. So it is displaying automatically. And uh, we will be using basically a dependency inside Angular 14 guys. If you look for this dependency, go to npmjs.com and just type here ngx csv. This is basically the dependency that we are using guys. It's a very popular dependency which lets you uh, download CSV files inside the browser, converts uh, JSON to CSV. 8,653 weekly downloads are there. So I have written a complete blog post on this topic, guys. I have given all the source code in the description of the video. So if you face any sort of problem, you can go to the description and copy paste all the source code. So now to get started, guys, the very first thing you need to do, you need to first of all install this dependency. So just go to the command line after you created the Angular project, npmi ngx dash csv. So just install this module using this command. I have already installed it. So now we will start this uh, Angular application. So ng serve. So now the very first thing you need to do guys, you need to simply go to the, uh, let me delete all that stuff and start from scratch. So basically what we need to do, you first of all need to go to your uh, app.component.html file and here we will have a simple button out there. So we will simply have export JSON to CSV. This will we will have this button and we will be attaching a on click to it. So whenever we click this button, we will simply write this function which is export CSV. So now what will happen, guys? If you now refresh your application, we need to define this function. So right inside your app dot component dot CSV TS file, just define this function right here. So this will compile successfully. So now you will see a button out there guys export JSON to CSV. Now we just need to declare basically a data object array of objects which we will display inside the template file. So right inside your TypeScript here we will declare basically an array of object each containing three properties. First is the name property here. We will declare the name here and then we will also declare the age here and similarly the country as well so three columns will be there and we can repeat that guys simply i will copy this and uh, you just need to put a comma here so we will have four rows of data you can change the names here and also you can change the ages So in this way guys, this is our data here that we need to export. Now we just need to display this data on the screen. So for displaying it, it's very easy. We will use basically ng4 directive here. So ul inside this, we will put a ng4 directive, a for loop inside Angular. We will simply say let d of the data array here. So we are referencing this variable that we have declared inside our TypeScript inside here. So inside double curly brackets, we will simply display it in the template d dot name, the name property. Then we got our uh, age property. And then we have got our uh, country. So now we have three columns. Oh, oh, sorry, three columns here. If I refresh here, uh, some error is taken place. Let me see. Uh, country doesn't exist on type name age. Let me see. Oh, sorry. This needs to be. I think I declared. Okay, just make it capital C here. So now, guys, you will see. Basically, we are declaring. We are showing all the values here. 
all the four values so now as i click this button guys i need to download the csv file as an attachment for doing this we first of all need to import the library at the very top that we installed right here so we can import that library and we can import that from ng and like this from this file we need to import the module ngx csv and now guys we inside that function export csv so whenever you click that button we will basically execute some code right here inside this so the very first thing we will do guys we will basically declare an op options object and here it will have the title the user details we will put here and we will have these options uh, you will find out in the description of the video guys basically let me paste it not wasting your time so these options you can perform uh, just pass it, these are not mandatory this is basically title field separator code strings and this is the most important property which is uh, the column name which is name age country so whatever records that you are putting here name age country we are putting here like this and now we just need to call the constructor guys which is ngx csv and here we just need to pass the data this dot data and the file name which was report.csv and thirdly we will pass the options that's all so we are now calling this line guys which will automatically download the file as an attachment csv file so now if i click that button you will now see our csv file has been downloaded you can see this is our file you can change the data as well so you can even open this inside your visual studio code text trader guys so if you open that you will see comma separated values will be their name comma age comma country and you can see that string values have double quotes numeric values doesn't have double quotes and each value is separated by comma so all these are coming through the options that we have set it here if you see we have set these options code strings double quotes dec decimal operator dot fields of operator you can see comma so this is a very awesome library guys definitely use it all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this